guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another comfort food for the entire family. This recipe was delicious. What is more comfort food than potatoes and ground beef? Uh, what is more family friendly than an awesome casserole? So tonight we are making cottage pie. This was so incredibly delicious. It made a huge serving for the smart points. It was easy, and I'm telling you, it is definitely comfort food. So if you wanna see how to make WW friendly, cottage pie, that is comfort food for the entire family, then just keep watching. tonight's comfort food for the entire family we are going to be making homemade cottage pie this looks like a lot of ingredients but this recipe actually isn't too tough so let me show you first what is in the cottage pie itself and then what we are going to be using to make the topping so first you will need some flour minced garlic Worcestershire sauce salt and pepper frozen peas you can either use a fresh onion or minced onion. I'm gonna use minced tomato paste, one pound of extra lean 96.4 ground beef, a can of no salt added diced tomatoes, and beef broth. You'll need some carrots. You'll need carrots for both the cottage pie and the topping. And lastly for the pie, some corn. And then for the topping, you're going to need some potatoes, some milk, light butter, and then of course some carrots. So let's get started on our cottage pie. The first thing that you wanna do is measure out on your food scale one pound of your potatoes, add those to some water, and bring those to a boil until they are cooked completely through. Next, go ahead and grab a large pan, so you want a fairly thick one here. Add some nonstick cooking spray to the bottom of your pan, and we are going to saute down the roughly chopped carrots. You can see here that I cut up two carrots, just rough chop, not perfect. It doesn't matter, they're going to get sauteed down. You're also going to go ahead and add in your onion. So if you did fresh onion or minced onion, the amount that you would like to taste. And then lastly, you're going to add in a good sized scoop of minced garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and let this saute down until our everything is cooked thoroughly through. Once everything has sweated out and everything is pretty cooked through, you're gonna go ahead and add in your one pound of your extra lean ground beef, and we're gonna cook this until it is browned as well. Once your potatoes start boiling, we're gonna go ahead and add in the other three carrots or two carrots that we diced into coins because we want those to get cooked down as well, nice and soft with the potatoes. Once your hamburger has browned completely, we are going to add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. If you only have self-rising, that is completely fine as well for this recipe. And then we want one cup of beef broth. This can is 10 ounces, so I'm gonna put almost all of the can of beef broth in there. And we're just gonna give this a nice mix and then let it thicken just a bit before we add some more of our ingredients. Once you've combined your beef broth and your flour together, we're gonna go ahead and add in our Worcestershire sauce. And the recipe wants us to add one tablespoon of the Worcestershire. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And I'm just gonna wing it. And then we're also gonna go ahead and add our tomato paste as well to our recipe. And we want us the same, about one tablespoon of tomato paste. And then lastly, we are going to add in our can of diced tomatoes. And we're gonna add the entire can. And then we're gonna give this a good stir. We're gonna let this cook 10 to 15 minutes over medium low heat until the sauce is thickened and those carrots are cooked completely through. Once your potatoes and carrots are nice and soft, we're gonna go ahead and add those to a bowl pull out your handheld mixer, and we're gonna make some mashed potatoes. So we are going to add one quarter cup of milk to our potatoes. 
We're also going to add one tablespoon of light butter. We're gonna give this a good mix and then we're gonna add in some salt and pepper. Once you've mixed your mashed potatoes and carrots together, you're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper like I did here. Give it another quick mix and then we're ready to assemble our cottage pie. Once you're ready to assemble your casserole, you're going to need a nine by 13 greased pan. Go ahead and grab your meat mixture off of the stove once it's nice and thick. And we're gonna go ahead and put that into the bottom of our nine by 13 pan. Once you've added your meat mixture to your pan, you're going to take your peas and your carrots and you're gonna go ahead and add those over the top of your meat mixture. It was one cup of peas and one cup of carrots and try to get those, or not carrots, corn, try to get that spread out as evenly as you can over your meat mixture. And then the last step is we are going to add our potato and carrot mixture to the top. And you're just gonna wanna gently spread that out. You don't wanna disturb the meat mixture and the carrots and peas too much in your casserole. So you're just gonna go ahead and spread that potato mixture out over the top. The last step is we are going to take your light butter and you want to put about two teaspoons of butter total over the top of your casserole. So I'm just going to do little dabs that equal the two teaspoons and it's ready to go into the oven at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to get this in the oven and I'll be back to show you our completed cottage pie. Our cottage pie is out of the oven. If this isn't comfort food, you guys, I don't know what is. So I'm gonna let this rest. We're gonna cut this into six servings. So that's a large serving as this is a nine by 13 pan. And wait until you guys see the serving size for the smart points. And we used lean ground beef and potatoes. So stand by for tonight's comfort food. So here is our completed dinner for tonight. One sixth of the cottage pie recipe. This smells amazing. That nice thick coating of potatoes with the ground beef, the vegetables. It's all that you need. All of your meal is incorporated into one dish, which is awesome. So you can have one sixth of this recipe for only five smart points. That's it. Potatoes, ground beef, everything, five smart points. So this is definitely a family friendly comfort food. Thank you for joining me on another comfort food for the entire family. I hope that you enjoyed this cottage pie recipe. It was outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And the smart points. For that big of a dinner, you don't even need anything else. You've got veggies, you've got your starch, you've got your protein, and it was absolutely delicious. Definitely a family friendly crowd pleasing recipe. Make sure you give it a try. You will not be disappointed. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that little red subscribe button and the bell. That way YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video so you don't miss a single one. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know, are you gonna give this recipe a try? What did you think of tonight's comfort food? And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.